It's been a long time since we've seen a scene like this. The biggest names in Arizona law enforcement all together in one room, all with one goal, taking down the serial street shooter. They are stressing this is their top priority and no tip is too small to help bring justice to the families of seven innocent people gunned down in the valley. ABC 15's Jason Valentine is joining us live from Phoenix. And Jason, the stakes getting even higher with a larger reward. Steve, the biggest news coming out of the meeting today is the reward for catching the serial street shooter is now up to $75,000. That's $25,000 higher than it just was thanks to a donation from the Arizona Attorney General's office just today to bring that reward up to 75. The big message here, this is not just a Maryvale murder problem. Yes, that's where six of the seven people were killed, but the street shooter killed one and staged two other attacks in East Phoenix. So officials say right now, this is definitely a Phoenix-wide problem that they want to stop before it becomes a valley-wide problem. And today's show force says they're spending local, state, and federal resources to catch the killer. Also, we have deputy United States Marshals. Uh, we've beefed them up in the valley to look at individuals that, uh, with warrants, fugitive warrants, uh, even misdemeanor warrants, which we normally would not look into to determine if somebody fits that profile that's been doing these shootings. Now, even with all these resources, Police Chief Joseph Yonner says there's a good chance this case will come down to a tip from somebody in the community. They've gotten 1,500 tips from the community so far, but they're still waiting for that one that will break the case. And again, $75,000 if you have that tip. Guys, back into you. Yeah, they've said it along. Somebody out there knows something, so hopefully they call in. Thank you, Jason.